this is Winnie and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about my MS cleaning service, or some people call it MS Spa Experience, for my Bayan wallet. Before I start, I'd like to give you some background information. I bought this wallet brand new in Hong Kong from a fashion select store called Twist about 12 years ago. And at that time, I paid around 1,000 US. And this wallet had been my wallet for 12 years until I brought it to MS for cleaning a couple months ago. Officially, the spa is called Cleaning Surface at the store. And their cleaning services include, of course, cleaning, like getting rid of stains if possible, retouching, for example, corner scratches, restitching for broken stitches, and replacing parts such as clasps, zippers, handles, and even a whole part of a whole piece of leather on the back, that is, if they can source the same leather in the same color. I want to make this video as informative as possible, therefore I'm going to do it in a Q&A format, and if I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, uh, please give this video a like, and let's get started. First question, where did I take my wallet for the cleaning surface? The cleaning surface is an after-sales surface and they have staff in each store to take care of that. I took my wallet to the Hong Kong flagship store, but you can go to any store and ask for this service. They will fill out a form for you, collect your item, and send it to the workshop for inspection and quotation. Second question, did they authenticate the wallet at the store? The staff briefly looked at my wallet, but she didn't inspect it closely, so I wouldn't call it an authentication. And she did not say that she had to authenticate the wallet and make sure that it was authentic before processing my cleaning service request. But she pointed out one term on the back of the request form, which states that during the inspection procedure at the back office, if the company finds out that an item is fake, the item will be sent directly to the customs in Paris and the owner will have to fly to Paris to collect the item. I had to agree to that before she could proceed, so I said okay. Next question, did they ask for a receipt for my wallet? They did not ask me for a receipt, nor did they ask me where I bought it. They only asked me how long I purchased my wallet because that was one of the questions on the form. So I told them about 12 years ago. Next question, where are their workshops? There is a workshop in Hong Kong and the staff told me that the cleaning surface for my wallet was done in the Hong Kong workshop because it was a relatively small job. My vintage Birkin, on the other hand, was sent to Paris for inspection and quotation because it was a lot more complicated, but that's another video. The staff also told me that there are few MS workshops in Asia, like Korea. Korea has a workshop. Next question, what did they fix? For the cleaning service, the workshop will inspect the item and see what needs to be done. You can ask the after-sales staff to put down your request, but they will not guarantee anything. For example, if I want them to replace a clasp, but they don't find it necessary, they won't do it even if I'm willing to pay more. Also, you cannot ask them to change anything on the wallet. They have to stick to the original manufacturing, leather stitching and hardware combination. So you cannot ask them to um, restitch the wallet in another color stitching, even if they're going to restitch the wallet anyway. So they're not gonna change anything. You cannot request, say for example, uh, to change the color of hardware. They're not going to do it. For the wallet, it took them less than one month to send me the quotation, which was faster than I expected. When I dropped off the wallet, they told me that it should take at least one month for the inspection. I think they could get back to me so fast because they inspected the wallet in Hong Kong. So they suggested four things on the quotation. And let me bring out my wallet. Oh, by the way, when I collected the wallet, they gave me a dust bag for the wallet, which was really nice. It, it didn't come with a wallet when I bought it. It's nice to have a little pouch for my wallet. So this is the BN wallet. And the first item 
was stitching full border wallet. So stitching full border means stitching all the four sides of the wallet and also the tab. And that costs 300 US, I opt for this. And the second one is cleaning. It just says cleaning. It's 175 US and they just wanna, you know, I think they're just gonna clean it. For $175, I didn't opt for this because I thought, because it's black, and that's why I like black wallets. They don't look dirty, uh, even though they may be very dirty, but it doesn't look dirty, and so it doesn't bother me. So I didn't offer the cleaning. And the next one, the third one, is refix leather tab. So this is fixing the leather tab. I'm going to show you close-ups later. Uh, I have the before and after. So if you watch my Bayon Wallet Wear and Tear video, you could see that there were a lot of missing stitches and some parts basically like separated the condition was pretty bad i didn't think it was so bad before making the video but after seeing the close-ups and the video i thought i had to bring it to the spa so you know how when you use something for a very long time it doesn't matter you don't really care but uh, after seeing my own video, I felt like, okay, it's necessary. I had to bring it to the spa. So very happy about uh, this decision. We fixed leather tab. It's 125 US and I opt for this. So, so far, stitching full border wallet and refix leather tab. So these are the two that I picked. And the last one was replacing H clasp, which is this one and there are scratches on it but it's not broken it's 200 us and i didn't offer this because i i could see the scratches but again if they replace it i'm gonna get it all scratched up after a month of using it so i didn't see a need for replacing it so i only offer two things the total on the quotation was 800 us I ended up picking only two things, stitching full border wallet and refixing leather tab, and that cost 420 US. So it's almost half of the service I picked. They would suggest the things that they think need to be done, but I don't have to pick everything. I can select from the quotation, select from the list. So that's why I selected like the, the things that I think were absolutely necessary and for the cleaning and the replacing of each class I, I felt like um, they were not necessary so I didn't offer those so the next question is was it worth the money and long wait I paid $420 for the cleaning surface the wait for the inspection and quotation was less than one month and the cleaning surface took about two months so altogether I waited for around three months and I think it was totally worth it because now I can use this wallet for an, at least another 10 years, which I'll probably will because it doesn't look brand new, but it looks really good. It doesn't look like a wallet that I've been using for 12 years. I'm very, very happy with it. And that's why I like MS. They make their products to last a very long time. And their after sale service is very good. And their craftspeople can not only make bags, but they also fix bags. And the staff told me that they're actually the same people, like the craftspeople in Hong Kong, in the Hong Kong workshop, they came from France and when they were in France, they made bags. They only make bags in France because everything's made in France, right? So um, they make bags and fix bags in France, but they but in workshops outside France, they only fix bags. Before I show you the before and after, I would like to answer a few questions. Like two hours before filming this video, I put on Instagram a post asking my IG friends to ask me questions about the Bayern wallet cleaning service. So here's the post and my Instagram handle is WinnieYYouTube. If you haven't followed me, please give me a follow and let's have a look at their questions. First of all, Peter asked, 
would love to know if MS will alter any original item during their spa service. For example, we sew a BM wallet with a contrasting stitching and they won't. They will not change the original manufacturing leather stitching and hardware combination. So they will not do it. Can they do anything to tighten the leather? I think Boy Stannis Mom wants to know about handbags. So they cannot tighten leather, like for example, my slouchy Birkin. They will not replace the leather panels because just because it is slouchy. They will do it only if it is damaged. So the next question is, how often should we have our leather items checked if it requires spa services? I think there's no standard time not like a dental appointment, but if you see that your item, like your wallet or your bag looks bad or there's missing stitching, don't wait for too long to get it fixed. When I brought my vintage burger to the store, the after sales staff looked at the bag and asked me why I didn't bring the bags over sooner. I didn't tell her much because I screwed up when I bought the bag. Like it was in really bad condition already when I bought it. It was like a wrong purchase, but I didn't want to tell her too much. So I didn't say much. And so she gave me an impression that it's better to do it sooner than later, because if you wait, then there would be more problems. And that means it will cost more to fix. For example, if you don't wait, then maybe they only need to restitch the bag, but if you wait for too long, um, maybe more damage will be done to the bag and they end up having to, for example, replace the whole leather panel, which is going to cost a lot. Okay, so the next question is, is MS worth the money? Uh, it really depends. I think for me, for this wallet, because this video is about this BM wallet, I paid a thousand US and I used it for 12 years. I'm going to use it for another 12 years. So a thousand US for 20 something years, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty, I think it's worth it. But at the same time, I, I think I can use a, a, a $100 wallet for 20 years. So it depends on how you see it. I think it's worth it, um, but it doesn't mean it's worth it for everyone. So you may have to think about how much you're willing to pay for a wallet and how long are you going to use it for and whether or not you're going to switch it up like i i feel like um for wallets especially i don't like to have many wallets so i have two i have this wallet and i have the dogon wallet uh, but i actually prefer this wallet again it's another video i'll talk about that later but um i just feel like it it is a very good wallet i like the size and i did my research i wanted a threefold because i wanted enough card slots so i just think that it was a very very good purchase and I'm so proud of myself for using this wallet for so long. Before I bought this wallet, I used an LV wallet, it's just like a very simple men's wallet for at least 10 years. So I knew that I used my wallets for a very very long time. That's why I was willing to pay this much because I wanted a long wallet. I wanted my dollar bills to be flat. So that's why and so to answer the question to me it's worth it next question is it worth the wait also it took months to wait for the wallet because it didn't take so long three months usually it takes six to eight months sometimes even a year if the job is big like for my vintage burger I, I don't even know when I'm gonna get it back but then if you know that when you receive the bag you will be able to use it for a very long time. Like usually, I think if it's like a big job, like I'm a vintage Bergen, I think this job, like this was necessary as well. Like it, the, it wasn't falling apart, but it looked really bad, like pretty bad. So now I feel like it's renewed and I feel so happy using it again. And so I think it is worth the wait especially when your bag is in pretty bad condition or your wallet is in pretty bad condition and you don't really use it, I think, but you still like it. You don't use it because of its condition. I think it's worth doing it 
But if you don't really like the bag anymore, you don't like the color, you don't like the size, then leave it, right? Forget it. But if you still like the bag because of the condition, like mm, for my vintage Birkin, the handle was bothering me so much because the leather was separating and when I was holding the handles, I could feel it and I didn't like it. And also like the leather, like missing stitching everywhere. So it, it was really, really bad. So, and I didn't want to sell it because I didn't want to sell it back in this condition to anyone. Like I, didn't want anybody to have a bag in such bad condition. Um, so I, I've learned my lesson and don't want to pass it to another person. So that's why, I, and I love the bag combination. I really love the blue and the gold hardware. So that's why I decided to go ahead with the cleaning service, even though it was really expensive. Again, that's another video. This video is about my Bayon wallet. And for my Bayon wallet, it is worth the wait because it's just three months. I didn't know it was three months, so I was willing to wait for six months um, if I had to. So, so it's worth the wait. Okay, next question. Is the Bayon wallet a good investment overall? I never call my bags or wallet investment pieces because the way I use my bags and how I got them like I always buy secondhand I always buy used for wallet I bought brand new but I use them so I will never be able to sell them at a very good price so I will never call it investment piece but I definitely think that MS makes very good products and I really like their products because they last a very, very long time. And it's worth the money. And I will keep buying MS and because of the quality. I don't think any wallet can be an investment piece because you really use it. It depreciates like a car. It depreciates immediately uh, after the first use. So in terms of investment, it's not an invest it's not a good investment piece because you, it depreciates uh, if you if you talk about investment. So, um, but it's a very good piece. Uh, I would highly recommend the BM wallet. It's a very good wallet. It's like a wallet that holds a lot. Like the Dogon wallet holds a lot too, but it's a big wallet. So it's not like it won't fit in, um, say a Picotan Lock 18. So I really like this wallet because it's compact. Uh, it's compact long wallet. So for me, it's really good. Next question. Would like to know whether the hardware can be cleaned up during the spa surface if the hardware is scratched or discolored. They do not fix scratches or discoloration. For my vintage Birkin, the, if you watch the video, the hardware, the turn lock, the, they call it a bridge or the tab like they have an official name for it but I, I talked about it in the video anyway terrible condition and they just offered replacement so they would replace it like just like for this one right I was surprised that they suggested a replacement because it looks fine to me uh, but I think they would not do anything to your old hardware they would just either offer to replace it or not do anything to it. Next question, may I know the cost of the cleaning service? So I talked about it, um, 800 US, and in the end, I picked two things, so 420 US. Maybe not just a wallet, how about other leather goods? I talked about the vintage Birkin, so the different parts of the vintage Birkin, so because uh, a lot of work, need to be done. So I had a very long list, so you can go to that video for the price reference. Next one, how long have you had the wallet and did you recommend this wallet or the Dogon wallet, please? Thank you. I've been using this wallet for 12 years now. I recommend this over the Dogon wallet because I think this is a better wallet in general. So the Dogo one is really big, but it doesn't hold as much. Like I can actually fit more into this wallet than the Dogo wallet. So my or my Dogo wallet, because my version is the one with the cut slot and without the little extra pouch. So I I like this. I definitely like this more. 
Next question, I want to know how long does the spa take, but I'm sure you'll be covering in the video. Yes, it took three months. Thank you for the questions. And now I'm going to show you close ups before and after of the wallet. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you found it informative. I'll be making another spa experience video when I get my vintage Birkin back. And by then I'll probably be able to tell you a little bit more and answer some of the questions that you have for this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If you think I've missed out anything, please let me know in the comments and help us improve this video, improve the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.